So today, <laughs> I was at work, and I checked my phone. And as I'm as I got on my phone, I went on TikTok, and I was scrolling on TikTok, and all of a sudden I saw a video of Kirk Franklin, and I saw him dancing and stuff, and immediately I started laughing, and deep in my heart I was just thanking God, and let me tell you why I was thanking God. So as we know, Kirk Franklin is on the reunion tour. Him and a few other artists, they are on tour. And they are going to, you know, different states. So I'm in Louisiana. I'm in New Orleans. Y'all, two months ago, I was so excited. I was ready to get my ticket. Like, I was ready. And, you know, I started seeing different people give warnings. Like on social media, you know, Holy Spirit, Revelations, and you know, certain things about um, Kirk Franklin, Maverick City, and, you know, certain artists. So I said, you know what, let me just pray. And I said, God, I, I don't even remember what I, what I prayed, but I just remember saying, Lord, give me a dream. Show me a sign. Like, help me. Just help me, Lord. Tell me why not even two weeks later it was canceled. He, he, he's not even coming. The concert is canceled here. And I just say, thank you, God. Because let me tell y'all something. God be protecting us in ways we don't even know. He really be protecting us from the seen and the unseen. And even as the Lord started to tell me this, and I started to just laugh and thank God, God started to minister to me. And as I'm at work sitting at my desk and I'm hearing the Holy Spirit, I had to write it. And the Holy Spirit, amen. You cannot mix gospel with secularity. It is an abomination to God and it is disrespectful. And then the Holy Spirit led me to Revelation 3.16. Jesus says, I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I'm about to spit you out of my mouth. Revelation 3, Jesus is speaking to the church. The church is the body of Christ. So he's speaking to three specific parts of the church. But in this specific part, he's giving a warning. Those who are lukewarm, he's giving a warning for them to come into repentance. And you might question, you, what does it mean to be lukewarm? Well, to be lukewarm, it means you have one foot in and one foot out. One foot out, one foot in. You don't, you on, you on both sides of the fence. You, it's like you're trying to serve two masters. You in between. You, you, you just confuse, right? In Matthew six, thank you, Holy Spirit. In Matthew six, the Lord tells us you cannot serve God and mammon. He says you cannot serve God and money. When I tell you everything is spiritual, especially concerts, you will be surprised at how many artists have actually <sighs> sold their souls given in to the devil many artists have compromised the truth they're they have compromised biblical morals for money and popularity so this is also a warning for kirk franklin even those who are participating with him the other artists who are participating with him in the reunion tour this is a warning for them to come into repentance even those people who may be supporting listen he also, the Lord also gave me another um, word. So he also pointed out to me uh, 1 Peter 1 verse 15 through 17. 1 Peter 1 verse 16, the Lord says, Because it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. And I also want to break down the definition of two words. The first word is gospel. What is gospel in the first place? Gospel is the teaching of the truth. And revelation of Jesus Christ. What is secular music? Secular music is a type of music that does not glorify God. It glorifies us. It sounds good and it feels good, but it does not glorify God. And the Holy Spirit just brought to my attention Glorilla. <laughs> Glorilla. And every person who has participated on that album 
need to come into repentance. And I want you yourself, you here, you here listening to this message. As a, thank you, Lord, as an instruction from God, from the Holy Spirit. Pray and ask God for discernment. Pray and ask God for revelation, especially when it comes to music, because so many people are still caught up in that trap. And I'm telling you, God has delivered me from secular music. I don't listen to it. And the reason why I don't listen to it is because music is so spiritual. Concerts are so spiritual. And some of these artists, they are mixing, they're mixing gospel with sec secular, what's the word, secularism. 